three, but it is seventy-seven. Yeah, I, I messed up on that one. Anyway, this is the Cafe Alp side quest requested. Um, it's not. I can't really complete it at this chapter, or yeah, I can't complete it at this chapter. So I'm. I can start on this chapter, but I cannot complete it on this chapter. So I guess, you know, if you don't care about that quest, skip it. <laughs> but I can tell you already, it's uh, kind of like a Phoenix Wright investigation type of thing. Requested by... Whoa. Um, who... Wow. Who did? Who requested that? I think it's either Demon Lord 44 and... Car no, it's um, LG65. LG65. Yeah, it's the last quest he requested. Wow, I, I gotta make an official list of those requests. They're still in my inbox, so it either pops up in my head when I'm like, ah, chapter chapter eight, nine. I gotta go, gotta do it. Anyway, brief resume. Murder happened a couple of years ago. Kid was the reporter. He didn't get all the facts straight, and he didn't want the article to be released, but it was released without his consent. So an innocent guy went in jail because of that article. And now he's trying to right his own wrong. But he needs your help. And this is going to be a lot of reading for you guys. So if any, if anything, pause it. I don't mind. I tried to leave enough time for you to read. But I, I read quite fast. Which is why I forget a couple of things. But yes, um, there's a lot of reading in this part. And this video is mostly about this one quest because there's a fuckload of information you need on it. You're even provided tools to search for the suspects or um, witnesses. Not really witnesses, just people around in that case to get more information. So, um, at first, you know, when I did this, the video lasted around 20 minutes because I looked for the person or tried to look for a person related to that quest and I couldn't find anyone in a building. And the problem is, well, this incident happened due to, uh, they give you an information about a person you will find at night. And since we're daytime, we can't find that person. So I gotta wait or remember Hello. to pass in this city when it's nighttime and continue on the quest. So this a feature I didn't really like because there wasn't really any ends. And you know, at first you don't think about uh, going from chapter to chapter to do a quest. You know, there's not really any consistency at times, except with um, the weird. <laughs> Mishiru, or what's her, what her name is, you know, drag queen. And even then, that quest makes you think, oh, well, I ditched her, it's over, you know, you get the experience, but then you follow up after. Anyhow, just, you know, minor things, but I still like the game's, the game design with this game, overall. Anyway, here's a brief resume of what happened, and you do get to know where the suspects are. Mind you, I do not play Clue that much, or Phoenix Wright. I've only played the first one. I like the series, but not my cup of tea. I like getting into the action. But I did like uh, the Lee Premonition a bit, even though it was weird as hell. Give me a bit of a Suda51 vibe. And is the Yakuza 4 demo still on the Jap PSN? I know I re-downloaded it by luck via my account there, but I think it's been removed, officially removed. I'm not too sure. Anyone, if you know, check it out. Good demo. They fixed a lot of things. I respect that studio. Uh, kind of studio that fixes things. Like, if you look from Yakuza 2 to 3, there's a huge gap, a huge step up. Even though it's, you know, the usual next-gen step up, there's been more added to it, and the battle engine has been refined. I, I appreciate and uh, respect that kind of work. Which, you know, a lot of time... Oh, killed by a blunt cigar, cigar stand. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you don't see that a lot, or that often, you know? Of course, there's, you know, Metal Gear Solid 3 and Metal Gear Solid 4. That's another big gap. 
Um, I was wishing for Zone of the Enders 3, but as a tribute to that game, I might LP it after Muramasa. I might take a break from long games for a bit, you know? Um, which means I might not jump on Yakuza 4 straight away, or maybe I might. All depends um, if we find some, you know, corporate troll around. <laughs> Still at his PC all day long, going on YouTube, going, Ha! Ah, there's some videos that should not be there. Maybe I should remove him. <laughs> so here's the clue book, or in a notebook, where you get a profile of each and every person involved in that case. And this will be useful once you get to night time. I really hope there's not a, a whole segment where, alright, I can only find this person in daytime. That would be, personally I'd find it a piece of shit, but it's an interesting design element. Because, you know, you have a quest going from, going from chapter to chapter with consistency. That would be very, very interesting. It'd be a new game design element, you know? Like, if they add that to Yakuza 4 with different characters, or picking up where another character um, started, because, you know, Yakuza 4 has four characters. <laughs> Fitting, you know? Yakuza 4, four characters, four different fighting style. But, uh, yeah, they've made... I've tried out the demo. They've made a lot of improvement. That, that studio, man, I should go... I should go to Japan... Um, I, can, I, I I won't say treat everyone there because I'm not that rich. Even going to Japan is going to cost a lot. But I should make something up for them. Um, they have a lot of work. A lot of work. And I should go back and play Shenmue again fully to um, see the evolution. Even though it, it would be like going back to Yakuza 1. Anyhow, quite interesting. Um, again, Vanquish, good stuff. Go check it out. <laughs> and apparently, there's this new project by Suda51, um, cooperating with Shiji Mikami, and potentially published by EA, um, Shadow of the Damned. Alright, whoa! One huge crossover <laughs> of developers. All Capcom refugees, um, except EA. Anyhow, next vid, more stuff. Later.